<laughs> hey everybody, Mark Johnson here, founder and creative director of Able Ape Studios, back again with another book review. Uh, and I'm, I'm really excited about this book review because it's a book that kind of wasn't necessarily on my radar. Um, I think I maybe had one or two people recommend it. Um, and being that there was only that limited amount of people recommended it to me, I, um, I didn't necessarily you know, take it so seriously, but it's a book that um, since reading it, I'm just nearly done. I wanted to get the book review in, so I had that part of it actually done. But the book review that you're having today is a book that I'm really excited to share because it's really helping me get through to the things, or maybe the one thing, let's just say that, that has been, um, I won't say plaguing me, but has been around, you know, <laughs> with me for the longest amount of time and no one's really been able to explain it as clearly as this author has in his book and the book that I'm talking about is The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield see the whole book Stephen Pressfield and um, like I said I'm, I've been excited to read this book you know, or actually excited after starting to read this book because uh, the things that he was talking about made things so clear. You know, I think for the longest time, I thought procrastination was the biggest thing, um, you know, I had to deal with. You know, I didn't, don't necessarily have what people call writer's block. I mean, a lot of times, and you know, if I, once I get to the page, I can kind of get through things. Um, you know, I don't necessarily have a problem with that. So. What he describes in this book is all of these things that can be described with one word, and that word is resistance. <laughs> and so no matter how you want to uh, uh, define what it is you're feeling uh, when it comes to not writing, or not doing the drawings, or not, um, basically just getting down to the work, it's because of resistance. You know, you're feeling this resistance towards it. And you know, um, since reading the book, he kind of explained why there's some of these things, um, and have why some of these things are, you know, being resisted against. You know what I'm saying? Why are you resisting this? You know, getting breaking down to the kind of, he talks about how uh, sometimes the resistance is due to the person happen to feel a certain way, you know, like they have to feel good about the work, you know, that kind of thing. Sometimes you can't, you know, to get the thing done, you just got to do it even if you're not feeling good, you know, you're not feeling like it's, you know, you're going to do good. And that's kind of what I, where I was at, I'm, you know, currently writing screenplay. I've uh, been wanting to write this story for the longest time. I think I came up with the concept last year and, um, you know, I had this idea and I was working with it and I, you know, got to the point where I had written the, the treatment, which is basically what the story is about. So it's just kind of like the story. Um, worked up the outline, so I knew what, you know, step by step how the story was going to flow. And then when I came to the part of the writing, I just had some this like this feeling of like I just didn't really want to do it. You know, partly because I felt, you know, I wasn't necessarily good enough to do it. Another part was I just didn't really think the story was good enough. So there's all these things that I was dealing with. And once I started reading this book, it kind of helped me clear it up, you know, and it's basically the resistance, resistance towards, you know, whatever it may be, um, you know, the procrastination part of it. And so this book has been uh, a godsend in that sense, you know, helps me understand that, you know, that feeling that I have right before I get to work is not necessarily good, but at the same time, it's good because you know that you're um, on the right path, you know, so it's helping you understand that it's a path and it's not always going to be easy um you know, what's another party it's just a good book and i would say that this is a good book for anyone in the creative industry or has creative aspirations i think you, know, you can you know be uh used for someone who just kind of doesn't necessarily know what they want to do but have all these ideas and uh projects they're working on to kind of help them figure it out that's another good one uh, a good reason to read this book to kind of help you, you know, find your way. Uh, I think it's also a good book in the sense that, you know, it would help you understand the different types of resistance that a person 
could be going through. You know, it's not just one form, it's a lot of different forms. You know, even some that seem to be helpful, you know, some that people go through uh, thinking that it's gonna help them in the long run, but at the same time, it's just keeping them from actually doing the work. And I think when it comes down to it, what I feel about Stephen Pressfield is that he's a type of guy, or <clears throat> the type of person that just has gone through a lot of different things. You know, I think he was a screenwriter, or is still a screenwriter currently. Um, and he talks about some of his early days where he was writing and was working on projects where uh, things didn't go the way he thought they would. You know, and so he kind of shares those stories, which is good. It's a clear example. Um, again, I'm a type of person that likes examples, and that's a clear example that helps me understand where he's coming from. And that's why I can, in a sense, speak on the sense that I'm getting from him that he's a type of person that's just like, get it done. You know what I'm saying? Just get it done. And uh, what's funny, I think the next book, which I do have, um, which I'll talk about later, um, is Do the Work. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I think he's sh that these are lessons that he's learned along the way that's helping you, you know, as a reader, kind of understand what it takes to create good projects. You know, you know, in a sense, big projects, not necessarily that, but uh, the idea of just getting, starting a project and getting it done and moving on to the next one. Um, I think that is a, a, a mindset that, you know, I've always tried to understand, you know, I think, you know, even the idea of, you know, I've always kind of had this idea or this uh, <laughs> vision of building a wall. You know, how do you build a wall? You build a wall, you know, one brick at a time, laying that one brick and then the next brick and the next brick. And then, you know, sooner or later you'll have a wall, you know, and then <clears throat> there's even the, 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 the saying, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? So again, I think this book talks about how to do that, how to start a project and complete it, whether it's on time or just getting it completed in at all. Um, and so that's kind of what was, for me, kind of timely. Um, it's helped me kind of get past my issues with writing the script, um, you know, and so I kind of put myself on a schedule and just kind of use a schedule of just find one hour a day to kind of write the next scene, one hour a day to write the next scene. And, you know, uh, uh, and, and, and when I first started it, it was it was tough. You know, I was like finding ways or finding things that oh need to be done in in the meantime or before let me getting down to that or I was like oh I'll do it tomorrow or you know this over here is more urgent. So a lot of things like that he talks about in the book, and it's all resistant. It's all um, uh, 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 a way to kind of get out of doing the work and. The big thing here, the big thing here is that he shows you how to work around that. I think that's, for me, just as good as an example um, and very important in, in a book that's kind of helping you to better yourself or better what it is that you do. Um, you know, I don't want to call it self-help, but in a sense, it kind of is like a self-help kind of a uh, uh, look. Um, I think he, he, like I said, this book can be given to anyone that's in the creative industry or suggested to anyone in the creative industry. Um, I think it's also helpful for those outside of that because, you know, if you have a vision, you have a dream that you want to be able to attain, this book will help you get there because it'll help you understand the things that are going to uh, get in your way that you may not be able to visually see or feel and understand, but it's there and um, um, help you work through it. So that has been my uh, review of Stephen Pressfield's War of Art. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, review. Um, it's kind of got a little lengthy, but I'll kind of wrap it up. And what I also wanted to say is that um, I'm probably not going to be posting as regularly with these book reviews because, you know, guys, I got to read the books, right? So I have two more books that I got scheduled um, that are be coming up and I want to get through those and read those and one of them is called uh, well the audacity of hope which is by uh, Barack Obama and the other one is do the work which is again the next book in line for Stephen Pressfield so I'm excited to get into reading those I definitely want to finish this one and finish it up strong but I want to get the review in today for y'all so if you like this review definitely give it a thumbs up if you like 
what I'm doing with the channel and definitely subscribe and if you also want to leave a comment you know maybe you read this book maybe recently maybe a while ago whatever it may be and you want to leave a comment because you gained some insights on it yourself by reading this and it helped you in your work as well definitely leave that in the comment box below I'd love to read those and kind of see what other people have felt about this book as well so like we always do at this time have a blessed day see you on the flip side let's go